but I think he's trying to focus on grand finals. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? 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 Buddy, did you see that cloud hype trailer? What? He said it. He That's said crazy. it. He if did the thing. If we don't get a cloud hype event or, or a Z Fly side I'm event, you gotta be emceeing. If, oh, if you're not standing there with a mic right? announcing players coming in, I'm gonna be very, very upset. I'm gonna be more upset if we don't get any clouds on top 32. <laughs> Which, Who I plays mean, cloud? Spargo. No, he doesn't. He played Inkling now. That's right. Who plays Cloud? Uh, Luna. See, we got Luna. We got Luna. Um, I you? Know, I, I, you? There's me. Uh, so I, got, I have a pocket Cloud. Okay, okay. Maybe we just have like a Cloud bracket, just okay. so I can like satisfy sure. all the Cloud yeah, yeah. that I need in my soul. Uh, oh, Vaughn, he's somewhere around here. He used to play Cloud. Yeah, he used to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Tweak used to play Cloud. No. What? No. I'm just. T no. That's like saying MKLeo used to play Cloud. He did? Well, technically he did. I'm not wrong. Oh, I need to fix my tie. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the run back. <laughs> run back grand finals. Gluto versus Leo. We'll see if Leo sticks out with the Mewtwo again or uh, what's going on here. Well, in winner's side when these two played, uh, there Joker. was actually no Mewtwo's yeah, at all. It was Joker. And in fact, they did a reverse uh, mains game one. Yes. So they okay. was on, uh, they was on, you know, the Mario. But nope. No playing just, around. Just serious business here. I don't know how much money's on the line, but apparently there's a lot of pride because. Uh, uh, I mean, they're going mains. They're, so. they're always mains. Yeah. So I get Leo versus Luigi. Wario. This is going to be a great match. Right off the bat, Lugo just fishing for that one hit as soon as he gets it. Takes it a mile. I think it's against Joker, though. You gotta watch out for that Rebellion Gate. Rebel's Guard. Yeah, the Rebel Guard came out, and that was just enough meter to make sure that Arson came out. Now that Arson is going to be uh, a lot of back and forth from Mikaleo and Luni. You can see Mikaleo is really abusing more of the projectiles than. Uh, a bigger hitboxes that, that Arsen allows. And now that Arsen's gone, he's gonna have access to that amazing counter again. Or the Rebel's guard. He's gonna to go and absorb the hits and all the juggling that Gluten's gonna be trying to run up trying to use. Yeah, the issue is once he starts throwing it out as a read, right? Yeah. And then Gluten starts calling that out. Getting the command grabs, waiting for him, just charging up F Smash, something like that. You can actually like the moment that they press down B, you can start charging F Smash and react to it. So we'll see the opposite of that. MKLeo though getting that sharking up air. 
Gonna take that first stock in the Looney speaking right back. Yeah, the revenge kill, making sure that the stocks and percents are very even. Yeah. We're starting out very strong here with the second stocks. Yeah, quick 36. The thing is, is like it's the same concept as Sheik Fair, right? Like Sheik Fair, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Wario combos, you know, they do a decent amount of damage when you get the up airs involved. Just the nares, like it doesn't do a whole lot. But the thing is that it pushes them all the way off stage, and then you have advantage, and then you hit them a whole bunch more for it. So even though you're not getting a ton of percent in that one interaction, overall, you're starting to get a lot more. I mean, that's really what you're looking for against Joker. You want to keep make sure that Joker's off stage. And really, you want Arsene to come out while Joker's off yes. stage in a recovered position. Because that's when you can really lose track of the damage and possibly take stock. I mean, we saw Gluten just do it a little bit ago, and as you can see, he's trying to push Kaleo off stage again. Falling with the counter, very smart because he has been playing extremely aggressive off stage. Yes. And even that, like, any time that Joker is off stage and has Arsene, not only is he more, like, exploitable recovery wise, but he's losing Arsene while he's off stage. Yeah, every time, of course, you know, MKLeo takes damage while Arsene is out, it's gonna eat up that Arsene cage a little bit, but. Uh, what happened? He fell. Nice. He tripped and he fell. Uh, I didn't realize we were playing Brawl. Mm hmm. No, he fell down. Hmm. He fell really far. It felt really fast. Yeah, and far. Uh, all right. Surprising. Oh. Game two. Game it smells two. really good in here. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. very distracted. Well, uh, you should be sorry. To One, go. I struggle to believe that. I feel, like <laughs> like chicken and I feel like there's chicken and waffles in the menu right now. That's why. Wait. You smell that, right? But that would mean Korean's back. But he's not. That's why. I'm all right. Whatever. Anyways. Uh, yeah, game two, Pokemon Stadium two, you know, still sticking around with the same characters. As you can see, Kaleo trying to hold down center stage using the Yehas. The what? Yehas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you think you heard, but you didn't hear it. Okay. <laughs> okay, falling there. And now it's retreating back to center stage. This is such a good position to have for our set. You know, you're in the neutral, you have big hitboxes, you do so much percent. And the moment that you take advantage, you just start killing people for it. And this is the issue though, right? Now he's got to get off the ledge, and he can't. Ledge, and off stage, not where you want to be when you have Arson. Okay, he gets dragged down up air, but not able to follow up. Okay, Leo's still playing back. He's really playing patient underneath these platforms. He's like trying to limit the way the approach is really can take if he does decide to do it. Great job extending this lead. Stay patient, charge that walk, chill out, get that percent. Waits for the. Oh, well, he didn't wait, he missed. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's straight up missed. There's probably the like the worst feeling to do is like if you have the hardest of reads and you throw out a counter and then your opponent misses. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm gonna get punished for this. Yeah, I did the wrong thing, but it worked. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all that is, really. Uh, really trapped the landing, and now we see a couple of up airs. 62%. Wow. What's Leo. the percent lead? Yeah, I mean, Leo was behind, and suddenly he's taking this game over. Yeah, shoot him up. Pop, pop. Now that Arsene is gone, this is kind of Luffy's chance to talk back. The dash. Oh, that was the dash attack. Yeah, the dash attack, while well, it would have been smart, like, you know, Joker just lost Arsene. He's right. going to be able to make it back to stage pretty easily. Keeping Joker on stage is going to allow you to pressure him and like, possibly wreck up more damage. Yeah, not only that, like now that Leo's a little bit higher percent, he's getting close to that down tilt back damage. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to steal that dash back too early, so. But yeah. You can do that? Okay. I mean, I knew you could grab items. I just didn't think that you could literally just grab the bike. Yeah, it has item properties. It makes sense. <laughs> Ludo's got a full WAP, 28% on him, and rising. Full hop stream. Ludo is so scary. I'm not sure when he's really going to be throwing out there. Back here for this. So now that Ludo's got the full WAP, like, he doesn't need to camp. Okay, now he wants you to You were camp. saying? Now I, want, now, <laughs> now I want to see the camp. Hit the tank, Ludo. Yeah, start that campfire. Oh, oh, I love the dash! Instead of committing for the dash attack, he just went oh. right into MK's Leo's safe space. Oh, down tilt, dash attack. That's 
2-0 Glutiny. Resets, man. This is Joker versus Wario. This is mains. This is this, this is, is a real hard. set. This is try hard, dude. Yeah, there's a uh, no Johns here. Yeah, Gluto wasn't able to take a tournament off of Leho in Stop Europe. Can he do it here? Joker. You know, that would be the most ironic thing ever. It'd be really funny, actually. Mate, we're, we're one game away from that being a reality. Blue has been playing really, really well. He's, he's been playing hot. Like, he's warmed up. Leo's been sitting on the bench. So, we'll see if Leo starts to come alive a little bit here in game three. We're staying on PS2, these guys love this game. Like, he just went up and hit him anyways. He didn't react to what the double guard at all. That, that could possibly, like, work in Blue's favor, though. Because he did give MKLeo a good amount of meter. Right. Uh, but at the same time, if Blue is able to activate Arsene while he's off stage. That's like prime position where he wants to be. But Arsene's here, MKLeo's center stage, not exactly the best combination. Yeah, and this is hard. Like playing neutral against Arsene Joker is really difficult. Yeah, Leo just not wanting any of these shenanigans with Pluto mixing up with the double jumps, trying to land on him. Kicking back, drag down. Good, good grab. Very smart. Spot dodge. Ooh. The covering just a little bit too high. Popping above the ledge. Prime position for MK Leo. And now with that stock, uh, Arson is gone. Gluto probably did the right thing there, which is to up B early. Um, and make sure that uh, Leo falls with the guns and he doesn't get the edge guard off of it. But Leo ended the guns early and jumped back on the stage and got the quick punish on that high recovery. But just next level reads. So connection for MK Leo. See the amount of jump off that's coming out from Gluttony at the ledge. Definitely may want to be careful uh, at a little bit higher percent. Leo's been doing a great job of extending his lead so far, but I mean, this is kind of the same story that we've seen in the past two games. Leo did really, really well for the first stock and a half or so, and then Hugo kind of takes over. And it's like Wario really just needs that one interaction here. He's got full walk. So he gets one interaction. Yeah. Yeah. That was close to being it. He needs a little bit more than just the nair. Yeah, if uh, MK Leo didn't land on that platform, that probably would have been exactly what Gluten was looking for. Yeah, Gluten needs like he, either a nair plus a read or just like a read with an up air or something like that, like a falling up air. Yeah, for air connects. Slowly racking the damage on MK Leo. I mean, there's only straight hits here and there, but he ran enough of them, that's gonna add up. Yeah. Now Arson's out. Leo's just not letting him do falling up air on him at all. It's just not happening. Even the Nair, the shields are getting shielded. That's coming from both players. Arson back air. So imposing here. Still got half. Okay, I like Ludo retreating, taking the stage. Wow. Just recognizing that they're both sitting right next to each other, I'm gonna press down B. No conversion needed. Oh, oh, good command grab. Saw he the Rebel Guard come out. Even though MKLeo tried to end it early, it still wasn't, you know, still had enough lag. Yeah, not really enough. Good knee. Oh. Trying to extend this lead. Leo looking for a drag down of some sort there. Yeah, up tilt connects, but unfortunately without Arson, that up tilt is not going to start to take a stock. A hot connects, and that's going to be, that's going to put Blue Knee over 180. You know how slow that move is, but how often I still get it. Back throw, back throw yeah. Heavy boys. Uh-oh. Doesn't have walk just yet. Coming up on him. He's got like a quarter walk. Like a half walk or something like that. Stray nair Ooh, hit. 10 against the Joker with our set. It was a stray, stray nair. Down hook will do it. Lumni is this close. Resetting the bracket here on MKLeo. Prime Saga for, sorry, not Prime Saga. Oh. Congo Saga free local. Free Congo Saga? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But now Arsene is gone. This is probably the opportunity that Gloomy has been waiting for. Half watch should be online by now. As long as you can retake stage control, really just landing one hit on San Kaleo. You saw him throwing out a couple of up tilts, landing, trying to land a nair, get one of those easy conversions. But not so easy to land on MKLeo. 
He's doing such a great job of dodging from being overcommitted super, super hard. He dropped down, he tried to do the up air because he thought Gluto was He tried to get gonna, fancy. Yeah, he, well, he tried to get fancy and he thought Gluto maybe was going to come down for him, right? And then Gluto didn't go down for him until after the up air came out, recognizing that, uh, you know, he was going to be able to punch that. Hey, it he happened. Out, and there's the reset. That's the reset. Yeah. Stop the able to take a set off MK here at the free Congo Saga event. Yes. Okay, but now all the everything's everything's on the line with this set. No matter who wins this set, we're going home. Somebody's gonna be crowned champion. Somebody's gonna have to hold that for two days. Yeah. I don't see these guys take it so seriously, but I guess they've been grinding for so long together that it's like, you know, at this point it doesn't really matter how serious they take this one. They've been taking each other seriously for the past month. Yeah. Okay, well there's Arsene coming out. You can see back throw. Whoa, oh. what was that? No match. Just chilling, waiting for the option. Luto was like, I guess we'll just sit here. Now that you think about it, leave the position that like Luto was actually holding MK Leo. If MK Leo was like mashed out, he would have landed on the platform. That would have been the easiest conversion like follow up for Luto. Yeah, he would have been able to put him in a mix up right there, and uh, could have been rough for Leo. So, so Leo just chilling, waiting. If Luto really wanted, he could have held it until he came out automatically, but didn't really matter too much there. These guys are super high percent. Glutiny off stage without a bike. Yeah, of course, hugging the ledge, yeah. making sure that the gun lined up with the connect. Wow. Yeah, that move is strong. Deceptively so. I never feel like that move is going to kill. There's the drag down, and up. He definitely didn't need to do one of those, at least. I feel like that was I think he bad. needed to do more of that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> who might have said? <laughs> okay, there's an air, but the Rebel Guard is going to come up for the up air. Yeah, of course, we have Arsene out. And any time that Gluto takes just chilling here is time that is charging loft and time that is draining Rebellion Gauge. So, let's see if he. Uh oh, oh he to jump. Yeah, pop, pop. Pop, pop. Two in the legs. Leo, he's got a solid, solid lead right now. But against Wario, this is just, you know, that one wop. This is the same story we've been watching for the yeah, last half hour. He literally know? just got full wop. It, this is the same story. We've seen this script already. We you know how it ends. <laughs> That's the thing, though. I don't know. If, you know, Pluto's been doing a great job so far. And, you know, obviously, he did that first set. But this is Leo we're talking about. We're waiting to see the adaptation. I mean, game, game three Leo is definitely a completely different beast, but right now we're in game four Leo. Possibly looking to a, to game five Leo. No, oh, wait. Oh, that would be game. Yeah, that would be game five. That was a good map. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love that kind of shield. That's the first game that Leo has taken off of Gluto here in the grand finals. Remember, he did 3-1 him. They did the reverse mains. Uh, game, game one, and then Leo 3 0 afterwards. So you're telling me that in Winterside, Joker won all the games? Pretty sure. Wow. Joker pretty good. That's a good look for Joker. Joker's pretty Stop. good. I'm just saying. Joker! Did you just say good look for Joker? <laughs> I don't want to bring it back up. <laughs> I don't want to give, I don't want to give it dignity. Uh, okay, game two, set two. Smashville. We're switching the stage. What's going on, man? Oh. Pluto finally loses and the stage switches. Wait, that actually doesn't make sense because like Pluto is totally comfortable on Pokemon Stadium and he has so much uh, success on the stage. This is a great Wario stage, I think it's considered though. Alright, well. It also has that middle platform, which is really good for Joker too. Yeah, looks like it's just good for extending combos in general, but a couple of Ahas. Man, that's a what is he? Imagine oh my god! Okay. I think I think Leo woke up. This is best player in the world, Leo. Right? Yeah, Leo Leo is here. He showed up. His flight was a little bit late. He's here. The double pair? There's the back air, not enough just yet. Leo looking to babysit. Okay, still able to make it back, but that's not gonna connect. Especially not with that person. Oh, 
Okay, he had the right idea. Uh, Gucci was throwing out a lot of buttons. A lot of buttons coming from him, but... Woo! It was pick up the stock. That was normal back there, too. That wasn't our center. Yeah, that was... Um, I'm pretty sure that Gucci was kept in the stage by landing... Uh, what, Aha? What is the... Uh, I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you. See, it's like it's only 30%, but like stylish though. Yeah, it's stylish, but theoretically he takes advantage of that. In that situation, Leo, like somehow the DI, he ended up on the advantage side of that. He was overcommitted, I think, with a bear or something. But generally, like you take advantage from that and you get 30, that's really, really good. Imagine one aerial hitting one aerial at zero in the middle of the stage and just suddenly have all the stage control. Must be nice. Okay, falling there. Able to escape now. Down throw, and here comes the dark machine. Alright, goes connect now. Yeah, more side beat. Falling guns with being able to ride the ledge. Being able to make it back. Ensel does connect. Now more pressure coming from MK Leo. I love Ensel. The double stab. <laughs> he just stabs you twice. Once isn't enough. It's not. <laughs> I think was trying to get the bike to explode. Oh. Yeah, there's the bear. Caught Leo trying to land with a button. 200%. Yeah. Still having waft. That's yeah. probably the scariest part. Yeah. Boomy still has waft. We're going into one stalker peak. God, like, the thing is here is Leo needs to not get hit by a single fall cup there. Well, he's got like 10% until he's okay. I'm using all the projectiles. Oh, okay, here we go. He's dead. He got the other side? That's so unfortunate for Flutiny. Now Arson is here. I mean, that's just a bad combination. Waft in kill. Now your opponent has their strongest kill options available to them. Suddenly it's even. Right, getting shot up Ooh. in the counter. Amazing coverage there from Leo. He forces him to up B in that exact situation. And then, you know, Down Guns just has so little lag. There's counter. Very smart. Pretty good. Very pretty good. Smart. Guys, pretty there good. There was actually like an interaction in, in the winner side that I want to bring up because similar to that interaction that we just saw, it was very like next level. It was that Gluttony threw the bike off stage right. while uh, MKLA was trying to recover and he used Rebels Guard and got hit by the bike, countered the bike, and then that gave him enough meter for Arthur to come out and then he countered the bike. Yes. So he put down B after down B. That's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. It's like a top best player in the world good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, MK Leo's up 2-0. I don't see uh, Gooney kicking it back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Yeah, and this is what I want to see. Like, he's won three games in a row here. He's dead. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He died at 30, basically. Uh, by the way, all, all you needed was that Arsene, suddenly. Able to take stocks at 30. That's the most interesting part, I think, of that, of that interaction is that uh, MK Leo was able to take the stock, being in a position where Gucci had normally taken advantage of MK Leo. He really just down through and did not stop. Hey, man. That's just Guns. You know you can get more than that, right? <laughs> I'm going that falling up air. Anything right now to combo into a bear. Get him a kill, maybe a down tilt dash attack. Searching for it. Leo just, uh, he knows that if he sits in shield, he's okay as long as he's not too close to the ledge where he dumped it. Nice for that. Oh, jump down. Dash attack in the connect. Oh! What? He, he tried to challenge too. the up B with a forward air? It, he did challenge the And he lived! Forward. Yeah, and he lived. <laughs> There's a slap. All right, Gluto, trying to put himself on the board here, not trying to get reverse 3 0 essentially. So you win three, I win three situation. And that's... <gasps> okay, reset. getting the reset with guns. I like it. Leo's turned on the Jets. This guy is pretty much unstoppable looking right now. All he needs is that one drag down. 
We get the drag down, just keep fishing for it anyways. Yeah. You can see a back throw and that blue needs force to recover. Up B to the ledge. Bear. He's gonna babysit. Yeah, the bears all day. Okay, throwing it up. Where's the rebel scars? He tried to grab, but he accidentally faced the wrong way. There's gonna be a waft. That's gonna even up the Oh, it doesn't even up the stock gun. He's still alive. He's got Arsene too. This is huge. Yeah. Similar to wow. the last game, just using your ace in the hole, but still not enough to take the stock, and that's gonna give MK Leo the win he needs to 